Om Swastiastu. Hello, good morning everybody. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. So, before I deliver my speech, I want to ask you all. Can you imagine that we work, learn, and study at home? What do you feel on that condition? Are you feel bored or do you love it? I feel so bored. But today, I'm not going to discuss about that situation. My name is Nina Manistia Devi from Dharma Viveka Junior High School. I'm 15 years old. That means I'm included to Generation Z. Have you ever heard about Generation Z? Generation Z is generation that born after Generation Y. The people who belong to this generation, those are who born between 1995 until 2010. So, if you were born in that time, you are also included to Generation Z. They are always connected to cyberspace and can do everything by using sophistication of existing technology. So, automatically, the introduction of modern technology and cyberspace is so influential on the development of their life and personalities. Ladies and gentlemen, in this pandemic, what are you doing at home for the education? Surely, we use our smartphone for education, right? We have all been educated in a teacher-centric classroom, where the teacher is in front and the students are sitting in nice neat rows, listening to the lectures and taking notes. The system has been continued and still. Then, our educational run by using internet. School have relied on it for decades. Now, we live in 21st century and the modern technology has become integral part of our everyday life. Some people try to stay away from it. No one of us can deny that it has brought change into our world, including our educational system. From chalkboard to whiteboards, and now to smartboards, to modern technology which has our main source of research, knowledge, and teaching. Ladies and gentlemen, what has changed exactly? I can simply say, that my days as a student were dramatically different. We used to write our assignments on paper and handed them in directly to our teacher by hand. Today, the student can email their assignments to the teachers or upload them to the school's blackboard. Back then, we used to write our tags, exam schedules on a calendar or agenda. Today, the student can simply jot it down on a smartphone or even get a text reminder from the teachers. As a student, all our exams were held in the classroom and monitored by the teachers. And we had to wait till the next day or more, more to receive our grade, right? Today, the student in some cases fill in online exams where they receive the grade immediately after submitting their answers. Group words are a group project involved with us going to friend's house or to meet our team at the schools or library or even in a coffee shop. Today, the student can simply log online and have their team meeting on the chat room or by using social media. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, teacher's main platform is to communicating with us in the classroom. And now you can see Teachers can reach all their students through social media and group pages for their class. Parents are just easily involved. The social media and media learner will make the teacher's job easier and also fun, which make more attractive of study. Social media group over the teachers and the students like an array of benefits of communicating with each other away from the classroom to a platform where they can place their syllabi, assignments, and even exams. Ladies and gentlemen, internet use has more influence of the world of education because basically, the internet is presented of educational purposes. But remember that internet has more negative and positive effect which affect the children, youth, and adults as a whole. So, what should we do? We, as Generation Z, we must use it wisely. 
because the social media may cause the addicted and waste our time. So that's all about my speech. Thank you for your attention. Om Santi 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 Om.